So back into the code. Now we, re we want to figure out a way, how do we access our element? So to do that, I'm going to actually approach the event itself. And the reason why I'm doing this is the less explicit you are about the specific name of components that you're working in inside of a, an event, the better you are. Because if you're not explicit, that means you could reuse it. If there were two dialogues or we're working on a different component like a button, and in our event we, we didn't explicitly talk about a specific button, now we could use whatever's inside there for every single button, such as rollover scenarios and things of that nature. So we're going to go into the event itself and we're going to approach the property of target. Now with that said, you could always look into the documentation to find things, or one of the easiest things is to just use your console, dot log and just log in your event to be able to peek inside and see what type of properties your your event has so if i refresh this and just move it just for a second you'll see that the object itself contains a lot of information one of the key informations that are available here are the the target there we go so we have our target which is actually the div layer itself of our components which is perfect because that's exactly what we wanted once we, we know that we have that target, we can approach that target and talk to it as a dialog box. So we're going to call it dialog box. And actually, we're going to approach one of the properties that we didn't talk about yet in the options. So in our options menu, what we really want to do is we want to talk to an option. We want to change an option, actually. So if we look into the documentation and go back up all the way into the beginning into our methods, we'll see that one option is option. The way to work with option is very simple. We, as a second parameter, we put inside the option. So if it's disabled, we pick whatever option we want and we can get the information. Or we, we add a third parameter, and in the third parameter, we actually tell it what we want it to do. Such as you see here, where we dis, it was disabled, we set it to be true. So in our case and scenario, what we really want to control is we want to control the title. So going back into our code, we're going to type in that we want to talk to 